guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about some traits or some signs of a toxic friendship. I've been in one too many to avoid this topic. Ugh. Who knows, maybe I'm the toxic one. Am I the toxic one? I don't think so. But anyways, I just thought we'd talk about some traits I have experienced and um, also how I have dealt with this uh, traits. So the first one for me is competition. So there are certain kind of friends that feel like everything is a competition. You have that, they are trying to outdo you. You have that, they are trying to outdo you. You have that, they are thinking, oh, I have got this better than you. Like, you can just feel it around them. Everything is about, how am I doing better than you? You know, am I better than you? It's just, there's just this competition going on of who's better and you can always tell by the comments they make, by the kind of discussions they have with you, or you, you know, you can just tell by how they are around you. Like, everything is, I was in this friendship where everything just felt like a competition. You do this, it's like, oh, how can I outdo that? Or, oh, how can I do it better than that? Or, oh, how can I, it just felt like I was, in a battle and this was so draining like this is so draining like in 2022 that's not what we're doing we're not spending our energy on any friendship that's not foiling us that's not helping us grow because we are growing and we are thriving in 2022 and you know moving forward not just 2022 so i just this kind of friendship was Everything felt like war, everything felt like, you know, and it was so, so draining. And I just felt like, you know what? I had to make a decision. Another trait in friendships as well, or in this toxic friendships, are basically those frenemies that try to put you down. I was listening to um, a YouTuber speak about relationships the other day, and she was talking about how uh, basically people date people that hate them. And there were a lot of tweets for to back this up. And people were like, oh, I knew he hate me when he did this. I knew he hate me when he did that. That is the same with friendships. Like you can be friends with so-called, you know, frenemies. And they would literally hate you and try to put you down at every slight opportunity they get. And I feel like most of the time it's not even about you. It's about them. It's about the insecurity and what they feel and what they're going through. They might have certain triggers or they might have gone through certain things in life. And they just sort of project that on you because, you know, when you're bitter and negative, you try to project it, to, you know, on the people around you. So it just happens that you're around them. You're their friend. So you have to suffer for it. So what they try to do is make you feel small or make you feel less or make you feel like, you know, oh, you're not doing better. Oh, no, don't feel like you're up there or try to bring you down to make you feel like, you know, don't think you're up there, don't think you're doing well, don't think you're anything special. And guess what? We're made in the image and likeness of God. So you should feel like a big deal. I was reading, I read a comment that said, you should be around people that make you feel like a big deal. In 2022, we're only going to move with people that make us feel like a big deal because you are a big deal okay so if anyone's trying to put you down because they are dealing with something inside that you know they should go to therapy and speak to a therapist about that they shouldn't come and try to project that on you so this is another trait in toxic friendship that i have experienced a lot um and the recent one was so bad like this friend will make unnecessary comments and i'm just thinking is that even is that even human? I'm not saying I'm perfect. I, I might say some things sometimes that are not nice. I have thought about some things I said and I thought, mm, maybe you shouldn't have said that. But this person, you, you can just tell that this person's aim is just to bring you down. Like this person's aim is just to make you feel small or less or make you feel like, you know, calm down from your high horse. I'm not on any high horse, girl. I'm just living my life. But you are dealing with a lot. So you decide to project that on me. And that has nothing to do with me. So this kind of energy, mm -mm. I would say that you should always, you know, you should always 
basically check with yourself, check how you feel when you spend time with people. Do they make you feel better? Do they make you feel like, uh, like I would spend time with this person, say we go out, we have a meal, whatever. I will come, I will go out happy and hopeful and positive for the future. And then when I come back, it's like, duh, I'm back to square one. I'm back to being sad and miserable. And I'm just, I'm just in a place that I'm not supposed to be in. And I'm thinking, if I'm investing my time and energy in you, it should be something that elevates me, something that makes me grow, something that makes me thrive. It shouldn't be something that, you know, will bring me down. I was talking to someone the other day and she was like, are you sure that friendship is worth it? And I was one of them that was trying to hold on to this friendship so bad because, you know, I said I've been in one, one too many, so... Hey, I can't lose this one. I, I, I am the problem. Just stay. I'm the problem, okay? <laughs> and I tried to hold on to the friendship so much. And this person was saying to me, she was like, are you sure it's not better to be alone than to be with this person that drains you? Because every time I came back, it was, you know, just something negative from this person. And I had to, I, I had to think deep. And I thought, hmm. Now, this is a journey I want to go on. I want to grow. I want to become better. I want to improve. I want to thrive. How is this person contributing to that? This person is only going to drag me down and drag me into a pit of sadness. And I'm not going to get to where I'm going to because I'm going somewhere. Because God has great plans for me. So I can't be, you know, letting this person hold me back. So I was like, I had to make a difficult decision so it might be one you have to make as well so i'm just putting the traits out there for you i'm doing the lord's work as i said i'm putting the traits out there for you i don't know who's watching i don't know you know what you've experienced in this department of toxic friendships as i've said you might be the toxic friend i might be the toxic friend who knows but um on the more serious note this is something putting you down making you feel less that's not going to run in 2022. That's not going to fly in 2022. That's not what we're doing in 2022. So that's another trait, um, I would say. Another one is manipulation. So making you feel like, so maybe you bring it up to them to say, listen, this is what you're doing. This is what you're, and they make you feel like the problem. Oh no, but you are the one that, yes, yeah, sometimes we're actually the problem. Sometimes we're the toxic and sometimes we're the, you know, we're in the wrong, but there are situations where it's a clear case of this person is toxic. You're trying to tell them to help them because you're trying to save the friendship and they just spin it around and make you feel like, listen, you're the problem. Or they try to, you know, make you manipulate you in one way or the other, just to make you feel, you know what I mean? And that kind of friendship is literally toxic, red flag, toxic red flag. Friendships are a big part of our life. They're a big part of our everyday life. They're a big part of our... I feel like they, they can be a big part of our feelings as well because, um, you know, we can get attached to them and, you know, we can sort of start depending on them, you know, which is very, very, very natural. So this, you know, so you need to look out for this um, red flags and then decide what you want to do. I feel like the decision here is clear cut. It's two ways. You either let it go you know, I love you with the Lord, I love you with the love of the Lord, but stay over there. Or this is, you know, you confront them and tell them this is what you're doing wrong because they might not know, as I've said, you know, you could be the toxic one, I could be the toxic one. We don't know, you know. <laughs> so I would really love if someone said to me, this is what you're doing. And I would initially, I might get all emotional, I'm like, oh no. But then in my quiet time, I will sit and think, Hang on a second. This is what I'm doing wrong. That's what I'm doing wrong. This is what I need to do better. Oh, this person is right, you know. And then, I, you know, they could get help. They could pray. They could go to therapy to deal with their issues. They could talk, you know, about it. They could just, you know, I feel like awareness is the first stage of being aware of something or accepting something is the first stage of healing. So they could just, you know, they could work on themselves and become better. And at the end of the day, you'd be glad you told them. So I feel like it's clear cut. But in a situation where you've told them, you've spoken to them about it and nothing changes, I'll say, you know, I love you, but you have to stay over there. You know, I pray for you, but you have to stay over there because that energy is not going to run with mine. 
So you guys, let me know what you think about this topic. If you've experienced it, if you've gone through it, how you've dealt with it, and I would be so, so excited to talk about it. You guys leave me comments, please subscribe so that I can make more videos. You need to encourage me to make more videos like this because I am having the time of my life, okay? And let me know what you think and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.